Welcome everyone! There's a high chance you won't be able to access a locked iPhone, but here are some things you can try. So first of all, after you swipe up or press the home button to access the passcode screen, just try your biometrics, you know, face, touch ID, try them out. If that does not work, then trying a passcode, you do have up to 10 passcode attempts, it's just worth trying, put a random one in 10 times, if you can't get access, then we will have to wipe the data of the iPhone. There's no other option. If this iPhone is stolen, okay, you can't get access to it because after the wipe, the phone is going to have a lock, which you can't get around. But if this is your iPhone, after we erase it, while you will lose your data, you will have access to the phone again. You can set your own passcode, hopefully, you won't forget it. So this does require a computer. It takes two minutes, three minutes. So I'm gonna to move to the computer. Only do this if you understand you will lose your data uh, at the end. And if this is not your iPhone, you will not get access. But if it is, you will be able to set your own passcode. You'll be able to set your own biometrics. Let's go. On the computer, if you have a Windows only, you will need to download uh, this iTunes software. This is made by Apple, it's completely free. I don't recommend using the Microsoft Store version. Instead, click on this Windows button and then click on Download iTunes for Windows Now. Download this and set it up. iTunes is built in to the macOS operating system, so you don't need to download for Mac. Next, we need to enter our iPhone into recovery mode. So this is quite simple, but it does require some concentration. So I'm gonna show you the steps. So you will want to plug in your iPhone to the computer using the charging cable. And if the iPhone does not have a home button, we need to do this specific key combination. And I recommend if you fail this the first time, rewind the video and click the buttons at the exact same time as I do. So we click release volume up, Click release volume down, and then we click on all the power button, and we're going to keep these two held down, we'll keep the power button held down, until we see a charging cable connected to a TV. So, just keep the button held down, do not release, even if you see this Apple logo, and as long as the iPhone is connected to the computer, and as long as you did the key combination correctly, you should see this right here. On iPhones with a home button, excluding iPhone 8 series, you just press and hold the power and home button until you see the Apple logo. After the Apple logo, you release the power button, but keep on holding the home button, and then you will see the same recovery screen. If you have iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, instead of pressing the home button, you press the volume down button, to power volume down. Once you see the Apple logo, you release the power button, but keep on holding volume down. And if you have iPhone 8 series, you use the buttons as you saw earlier. So if you have iTunes, you're gonna open it up. On the Mac, just open up the Finder app. It's built into your Mac. And you're gonna see here, there is a problem. So you will need to click on Restore or Restore iPhone. And once the restore is completed, you'll be brought back to the setup screen just like when your iPhone was new. And you will need to follow the on-screen instructions to set up your iPhone. Just note that you've lost your data, that won't be gotten back. But as long as this iPhone is yours, when it asks to enter in the Apple ID, you'll be able to enter that one in and you will have regained full access back to your iPhone. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.